Hi everyone, it's Kathy here again. Welcome to my channel. Um, happy Easter Monday to all my crafty friends. Um, I've come along today to share with you some uh, new collection of some stamps that I've recently purchased. Um, some by Woodware Craft Collection, which are the gnome stamps, which are also the company is Creative Expressions UK. And I've also got a card that I've made using one of the Stampendous House Mouse designs as well. So there's some new products that I've brought and I'm absolutely excited with them. And I'd just like to show you some of the cards that I've made with them. So I'm going to move these out of the way first. And the first one I'm going to show you is the House Mouse. And this particular design if you can see there is just some mice with a little tub of strawberries and a little jar of fudge sauce and this design is actually called the Kling Fudge Strawberries so that's by Stampendous and I've also to make this card as well I've used a couple of sentiments from the Woodware Collection, which is also by Creative Expressions. And this one is the Thoughtful Strips. I hope you can see that there. So I've taken a couple of the Thoughtful Strips off of there and you'll see in a moment. So I'm just going to show you the card that I made with it. I made a little 6x6 six six card here. And I put a couple of sentiments, as I said from the thoughtful strips so I used the just a note to say hello sorry about the glare and also let's get together soon so those are on the thoughtful strips and this is a little card I made and it's just a six by six card and I used pro markers to colour in the little mice and the design and I stamped it directly straight onto a piece of stamping card and then I just matted and layered the six by six card with a little bit of brown card. So the measurements for my cards are six by six is the actual base card if I just get my tape measure ruler rather so that's six by six so six inches squared and then the little bit of backing card I used was 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters and then the bit of stamping card that I used on top for the image was 14 and a half by 14 and a half and that's the same with all the cards that I've made today so these wonderful little stampender stamps as you can see have made a fantastic image nice crisp clear image and they've gone down to the stamping onto the stamping card really well and the nice thing I like about the Stampendous stamps is that you get all the shading shows you where to do the shading because I'm not very good with colouring I know there's some really fantastic um, experienced colourists among our crafty friends um, but I'm, I'm pretty new to um, doing the, the shading and the and the light and everything on there so this is why this is a nice stamp to use stampendish stamps actually show you where you put your shading and your darker colors which is nice so I, I really love that little fudge strawberries and the stamp itself is what they call the cling rubber stamps so you get the beautiful impression of the stamp which is done on grey rubber but then what you get is two pieces of acetate. You get one piece that you take off like that and then you've got another piece. I don't know if you can actually see that in the camera. And you leave that cling on and then that actually looks after your design and then that will cling nicely to your stamping platform. If I just show you the stamping platform that I used for all of these cards. And that is this one. I know there's many on the market. You've got the Misty and you've got Crafter's Companion stamping platform and various other ones. Tonic Studios um, worked in conjunction with Tim Holtz 
and brought you out this one and I find that this is the easiest for all my stamps because on one side you have just pick that up on one side if you put the, the clear side up where well, it says clear there then obviously underneath you can put your clear stamps and then if you turn it around that's for your rubber stamps so that's how your cling rubber stamps will go so if I just pop that in there to show you and then I pop that down there take the first piece of acetate off bring it down and then it just literally just clings up onto the, the stamp platform which is brilliant and then you can just position it nicely onto your card where you want it. So that's the stamp, it's my stamp platform of choice. Here's the one from Tonic and Tim Holtz because it gives you two sides to use two different types of, of stamps which is nice. So that was the first one I made and then the second one, I did have all these in order but of course now I've started showing you, they're all out of order. So this one is the next one which is another little gnome stamp with a little shoe and some separate little sentiments and separate little embellishments and butterflies and flowers. And this one is actually called Gnome Shoe. You can see that there, just there, Gnome Shoe. And it's actually been designed by the fabulous Francois Reed. Tells you there. So she actually designed all these stamps. And they went into production with woodware stamps and creative expressions to make these. And these are nice clear, clear polymer stamps. So that one again was a six by six. And I used the little sentiment that comes on the stamp plate, which says, there is no place like home. And again, I used my pro markers to color it in. And I also did a little bit of ink blending using some distress inks, my um, Tim Holtz. And in the just for the background and the distress ink I used for the background was Stormy Sky. Just put that on with one of my blending brushes and then I just matted it onto the 6x6 card with just a plain piece of black card just to give it a little bit of an outline and just sort of draw the eye into the image on the front. So that's that one. And they do give vibrant, vibrant images and I, I do love these stamps, they're just so easy to use. Very first time I've actually discovered woodware stamps and creative expression stamps. I know many of you ladies and gentlemen probably already use them, but it's my first time so I feel really excited about using them. The next one I've got is this one. We've just got a little snail with a gnome sitting on it. And it's got some sentiment stamps on there that says always be you, bon voyage, and do what brings you joy. And then there's a, a separate little embellishment of a butterfly there. And this actual stamp is called, oops, I can just get that in for you, it's called Snail Ride. And here's the card that I made using the Snail Ride stamp. Again, a 6x6 card and I just put do what brings you joy up the top there and always be you and then I stamped one of the butterflies um, a couple of times for the image and then I also did a bit of distress ink around the outside and then that was, I think that was a combination of two inks that I used. For the, the lighter green on the outside I used Twisted Citron. And then again for the blue in the middle I used Stormy Sky. So I tried to keep these cards as quick, simple and easy as possible because I wanted to just see what sort of results I get. And I thought that was really cheerful, just making it into like a little rainbow snail. Don't see many of those in the garden. We might actually be a little bit more friendly to our snails if they look like that, perhaps. 
So that's that one. And then the next one I did was this one, which is a little, looks like a little magician. And it's got some sentiments on there that say, spend time under the stars. And you've got your magic. And it said, never too old to wish upon a star, which I think is a really lovely sentiment. And then it's got some moon and star embellishments there. So this actual stamp is called the Celestial Wizard. Celestial Wizard. So there he is. He looks a little bit like a magician or a wizard there, a bit, a bit Merlin type. So that one is my my interpretation of that stamp. And I use the never too old to wish upon a star because I thought that was a nice sentiment and I've put your magic. So this can be used for any I tried to keep the cards as generic as possible as well so they can be used for birthdays or just to say or get well soon or anything like that. So I love using the sentiment stamps that I've got too. Um, separate sentiment stamps that I bought because you can mix and match which is nice. And I just matted that onto a piece of um, like cyan blue card, straight onto the card, and then use the stamping card again, which really brings up the nice, nice crisp image. And then the little star and moon stamp, I just stamped a few times just around the card. So that's him. And then I've done some more. So what I'm going to do is probably do this video in two parts. This is the first part. I've got another, I'm in the middle of doing another four cards using um, some some stamps out of the two collections that I bought, the House Mouse Stampendous and the Woodware Craft Collection. So the last one in this part of the video is this one. And this is the best chef. And it's got some lovely little sentiments on there. It said, what's cooking? Good looking and Baker Wish. And it's got a little rolling pin there and a little whisk. And then you've got the main image of the chef. And that's actually the stamps called Gnome Chef. And then with that, there was separate sets of little stamps that I could buy along with it, which I bought. I can just find what I've done with them. Let's have a look. Right, so there's another one that you can put with it. I'll just pop that up against some cards so you can see it. There's a little stamp there that says, Pinch, a recipe for a great day, a pinch of pati patience, a dash of kindness, a spoonful of laughter, and heaps of love. And then you've got two other separate stamps down there that says, Be a whisk taker, lick the spoon, and baked with love. Here's my interpretation of the stamp that says best chef on the front and put, be a whisk taker, lick the spoon because I quite liked that and then at the top it's what's cooking, good looking and then I've put the little rolling pin on there and the whisk and a little heart that also comes on the stamp plate just there. I put that down the bottom and then I just did some dashes of a couple of colours for pro markers. I just used, um, I think it was my powder blue pro marker or denim blue, it's one of those. And then I used one of my very light greys for it. It was either cool grey one or cool grey two. And then just use that just to do, just give it a little bit of a background. Oh, and that's what I meant to say. So most of the cards that I made over the weekend, over the Easter weekend, have been coloured in using Pro Markers, apart from this one. And this was actually coloured in with brush markers. So watercolour brush markers, just for a change, that I'd actually purchased from Hobbycraft. Um, which is in England. So I don't know if you have Hobbycraft in the United States. I think you've probably got lots more crafty shops than we have. You've got, I think you've got Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby. So I suppose 
hobby craft would be a little bit like your hobby lobby perhaps unfortunately I haven't had a chance to get to America yet I'd love to visit there um, and I'd love to go on a crafty crafty shopping marathon trip I think to more your different craft shops because they when I watch different videos from different ladies and gentlemen on YouTube they some of the products that you have over there are absolutely fabulous so that's the first part of this um, oh yes and just to say that I use Memento Tuxedo Black um, to do all the stamps stamping of the cards and also if I could just quickly show you the actual stamp card that I used was by Sheena Douglas and Sheena Douglas has worked a lot with um, Crafters Companion and I think crafterscompanion.co.uk produced this stamping card it's 300 GSM and it was an A4 size so I cut a 6x6 card pieces down I did them to 14 and a half by 14 and a half centimeters and I used that and this stamping card is lovely and thick uh, it's really good for memento ink and gives fantastic impressions every time so I'm really impressed by those I hope you enjoyed watching it I will be bringing back part two very soon and then you can see some more of the gnome and house mouse stamps um, if you would like to watch a video of me perhaps making one of the cards or colouring in one of the cards if you want to get a little bit of inspiration of using the pro markers or brush markers then then just put a little note in the comments and tell me what you'd like to see me doing whether colouring or making a card um, and otherwise I will just come back very soon with part two and just show you some more of the cards that I'm currently making once I've finished them okay well thanks ever so much for watching um, I've really enjoyed joining you today and if you do like what I've posted then please click the subscribe button maybe give me a thumbs up and until next time please take care of yourselves and as always happy crafting <laughs>